Hey, how's it, Cowboy Boss here? How you doing? So, go Cowboys. Cowboys game-winning field goal. Beat the Bengals 20-17. Um, um, time, you know, when you're going to lead on your defense with our backup quarterback, I know our backup quarterback, too, you know, uh, played good. You know, they didn't, they didn't have a you know, awesome game, but he played well enough to win the game. But then, like I said, though, if you're gonna lean on, if you're gonna lean on your defense to win the game, either two things have to happen: you gotta either control the tempo and the time of possession, or you gotta get to a quick start. You gotta get some early scores so your defense can play downhill and all that. And and we did that. You know, we got two touchdowns. We got a field goal. You know, you know, we got a field goal and all that. So we we pretty much held the lead throughout the game. Um, you know. And you saw, and you saw that like our, you know, our defense could play play really aggressive and all that. Um, you know, and, and like I said, with Cooper Rush, he made, he made some good plays. You know, Noah Brown was was playing awesome. Um, you know, and then CD Lamb, he had a lot more. He had, he was a lot more better in this game. Um, and then and then the other thing too that that I have to mention is that we only had five accepted penalties. Two was on defense, one was on special teams. So you not when when you see our offense playing playing as disciplined as it was, he could run five yards, he could run four yards, he could run seven yards, but you know, he, he, and he gives Kelly more and more confidence to call those other plays rather than reverting back to those all those play you know all the plays that he likes to do and all that. Um, but you saw like how you know the simplistic side of it, you know he got to play you know he got to play uh, he got to do the right calls and all that. Uh, for the most, you know, for the beginning part of the game, especially. <coughs> um, so, yeah. You know, and then Titus Smith, I mean, you know, he saw some rookie moments, but for the most part, hey, I never hear his name too much. So, that's that's a good sign. Um, and you don't hear their, you know, you don't hear their, their names, the offensive alignment and all that. So, yeah. Um, defensively, I mean, Michael Parsons, man. I mean, that's total beast. I mean, he 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 got two sacks, but it looked like he could have twelve. <laughs> um, he was he was getting other guys, and you know, Doris Armstrong had a couple sacks. You know, Michael Parsons was you know Michael Parsons was getting all the attention on him. You know, either that or he was flushing Joe Burrow out when other guys was making plays. You know, so so that was always good and all that. Um, but then Bohana, you know, um, man, I love him that, you know, he's getting a lot of playing time because watching him, he's not getting moved. In fact, he's doing the moving. He's getting some good penetration and all that, you know, and that's, that's good, you know, because when he's taking up those blocks, like, you leave everybody else free, you leave everybody one-on-one -on -one and all that. So, so yeah. Um, and then, like I said, you know, with Michael Parsons, the way he was playing, he forced them out. LV made a huge sack. And then he had one of the biggest plays of the game, in my opinion, in the, on the same drive that Diggs made. But, you know, that first down play, he, he stonewalls the guy. And then what happens is that the second second down play, they don't get anything out of it. And with all the pressure and all the, all the sacks and all that, Joe Burrow and the office coordinator knew they had to get the ball out early. Uh, early. You know, they threw, it out, they threw it underneath. And Trayvon Diggs made a huge tackle. You know, Trayvon Diggs, I mean, you know, I know people are going to be like, well, if he doesn't, you know, if he doesn't get 12, you know, 11 interceptions or more, everybody will say he had a down year, but I'm loving this Trayvon Diggs. Um, you know, he's he's not, you know, he's taking calculated risks. Um, he's not make, he's not giving clean catches, which means that, you know, which means that when he's making, when the receiver is making the catch, he's making it difficult for them and he can make a play on him, uh, on making a tackle on all that. Um, so yeah, he he'll get his interceptions, you know. But you know, I'm just loving this right now. Um, yeah, and he's not giving those cheap catch and catch, runs after catch, those big plays that he sometimes he would give up last year, and all that. Um, yeah, uh, Brett Maher made the game winning field goal. I know there was a time when Brett Maher would be like, "Please just make this one. Please just make this one." And and you know, but. Hopefully this gives him, you know, moving forward, gives him the confidence to keep on making those kicks and all that. Um, so yeah, next week we got the we got the Giants, you know, Giants two and all. 
Um, their defense looks pretty good. Um, so it looks like it's going to be a defensive struggle on Monday Night Football. All right? See you then. All right? Mahalo for watching. Paniola, boys. Who you with? You know who I'm with. I'm with the Dallas Cowboys.